What the fuck is baiting? And why are you baiting me, you fucking toxic noob? There are many different ways that you can bait in Counter-Strike. A lot of them are advantageous if done correctly. So, a team who utilizes baiting correctly is going to be a very strong team to play against. Very difficult to play against and very hard to understand what they're trying to do. There's obviously bad baiting where you're not capitalizing off of the bait, but for the most part, if baiting is done correctly, it can help your team win rounds. So different types of baiting can be baiting to trade a kill, where you're a distraction for your teammates to come and get the kill on whoever kills you. There's baiting to kill a rotator or a flank, which is done in like a fake strategy, for example, to pull a rotator. Or even if I'm a terrorist and I'm coming up mid and I'm just making a little bit of presence here, it's going to allow my teammate to come out of the apartments from behind and get a flank off any of the porch players. There's baiting for a teammate, which is being the bait, so being the distraction, because baiting is a two-way street. You're either the baiter or the baity. So if you're the baity, you're just causing a distraction. If you know that you're the bait for your teammate to go and bait you, then you're going to play a certain way. And then baiting a response from the enemy, which is, let's say there's a lot of time, there's a lot of time left on the clock, but the enemy hasn't used their smokes or flashes yet. You want to force them to do it by pretending that you're doing a push, pretending that you're running an execute, pretend that you're doing something which will force a response from your opponent, or baiting for a fake, which is kind of goes hand in hand with a, you know baiting to trade a kill, or baiting a rotator or a flank, but I'm talking about some serious baiting going on. So I'll start with that last thing, baiting for a fake. What I mean by this one, is, as opposed to baiting for a trade kill or a rotator or a flank, is something like, if I'm playing in the back of Emo right here, after I planted the bomb, so like, let's say I planted the bomb as a terrorist, and the bomb's ticking down, and the counter terrorists are coming around, they're trying to do a retake, and I'm a teammate in Emo peeking out like this or this, and I'm just hiding in the corner here, my teammate, this dude over here, is going to be the bait for me, okay? So my teammate over here is going to be the bait for me. I'm going to be baiting him. I'm going to be hiding in this corner. When the counter terrorists come in and they kill him, they're like, okay, emo's clear, whatever. They come, they clear this. They don't see anyone back in emo. They come and they get on the bomb. Now I'm hiding in this position. I come out and I start killing the guy who's on the bomb. That's one way for me to bait my teammate as a fake, to fake out that this area is clear, okay? Beyond that, there's other ways to do baiting. So there's baiting to trade a kill. So if I am attacking the B bomb site and I'm here with the rest of my team and we're throwing our smokes and flashes and everything, or let's say the opponent's on eco, we're gonna do our smokes. So we smoke off the spools, we smoke off spawn, and we're pushing into the bomb site. I'm gonna sit back here and I'm gonna bait my teammate. I'm gonna let him run in, I'm gonna f let him tell me exactly where the opponents are. So he's gonna run into the headshot angle at, at pool here. He's gonna spot for oranges, second oranges, tri box, emo, fountain, anywhere. Anywhere he spots an enemy, he's gonna tell me where the enemy is. I'm just gonna sit here using him as live bait to fish anyone out of CT spawn. And counter terrorist is gonna push through spawn, I'm gonna kill that spawn guy. If they push through the spool smoke, I'm gonna kill that guy. If my teammate tells me that the enemies are at emo or tri box or something, I use him as bait. Enemies looking at him, focus on him. I come out from the side. I get the kills on enemies who are looking at my teammate and not looking at me. So that's one way that I can use my teammate as bait. Baiting for a teammate, being bait, can be as simple as being the person in this position when my teammate's going and getting all the kills while I'm here just make, making myself a distraction, but it can also work as a fake strategy. For example, if I'm coming up mid and I smoke off left side mid, I'm not going to worry about this as a terrorist. I'm going to come and I'm going to start making a distraction on port side mid here. If I know that there's an enemy under porch and I have a really strong suspicion that there's no enemy in pit, I'm going to tell my teammate who's in apartments to jump out and kill this player at port side because I'm making a distraction for him. So my teammate's going to come out and he's going to 
attack the porch guy, and I'm not going to be fighting the porch guy. I'll maybe show my shoulder a little bit, I'll stutter step, I'll jiggle peek, I'll show myself a little bit, but I'll let my teammate make the play and get the kill, and I'm just here pulling the attention of the enemy to be looking at me at middle instead of being focused on my teammate who's at apartments. A better example of that, since usually apartments is being covered by someone in the bomb site or pit or halls, is I could be over here at lane being the bait. I can be baiting for an enemy to be peeking out or anything, and I'm just here as live distraction for my teammates to walk out the apartments and get a kill. Or further up the truck, just making myself a little bit of a nuisance, showing myself kind of jiggle peeking, stutter stepping, showing my shoulder, and letting my teammate come out and get the kill. Baiting response from enemy, nade smokes and flashes. Simple. You can do it a couple different ways. One of the ways is to actually do like a smoke and a f you wait for the smoke to land and then you do a molly and then a flash. It's a little bit of a commitment from you because you're using most of your utility as an individual. But what it's going to do is it's going to force any counter terrorists who are playing here to say, oh, they're about to execute B. I need to smoke off the choke point and I might need to set up a counter flash because they're going to be pushing through. And I'm going to have to change my position, obviously, because I'm molly. I'm Molotov off at oranges. So it's going to bait a response from the counter terrorist, whether it be smoking, flashing, nading, and repositioning. It's going to let me know exactly where they are because I'm hearing their footsteps. It's letting me know how they're positioned or how their team's positioned because I see them throwing the smoke from the bomb site or I see them throwing the smoke from art side, smoking off banana. If I see this smoke being thrown over the wall, I'm going to assume that whoever's in B is probably by himself. Because the smoke's coming over from Arch, they'll probably stack towards A, smoke off Banana from A, playing 4 towards A, and he smoked off, he's by himself at B. So by pressing, by throwing the nade, the smoke, the molly, the flash, it's going to draw a response from the enemies, and it's going to let me know roughly how they're playing. Instead of throwing your smokes, mollies, flashes, or whatever, you can also pressure the enemy by coming up and peeking aggressively with your with your AK or your gun in general and just force an engagement. A lot of the time CTs will they want to take the best engagement possible and peeking you in a one versus one aim at style engagement is a good way for them to lose the bomb site and lose control of such a natural choke point. They want to control this choke point. The best way to control this choke point is to keep it smoked off, to keep it mollied off, to nade it off, to keep you blind when you're pushing through. So they're going to start throwing their their utility grenades at you as you're coming through this choke point if you start pressuring them and you start peeking aggressively at them and shooting towards them. So that's a good way to bait out grenades. Those are pretty much all the ways that you can bait in the game. There are other small different things that you can do to bait things out of the enemy or to bait your teammate or to be bait for your teammate. But for the most part, if baiting is done correctly, baiting is a good tactic. I hope this helps. See you next time.